guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here a very warm welcome please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and also to turn on the post notification bell so that you never miss a moment and if you are a returning subscriber welcome back welcome back you are a citizen a resident in my heart uh so guys welcome to a mukbang so literally i am sitting on the floor in my bedroom because i thought like this would be something that is very comforting and we should be comfortable and literally sitting on the floor is one of my most comfortable places to sit i, I could say um so yeah welcome to a mukbang it's nothing too crazy nothing too hectic i literally just have something very simple with me as you can see my juice is almost sipped okay cool um so i have a juice with me and then i bought this bunny chow as well i bought a bunny chow so i'm just gonna open it inside so that you guys can see so um guys <laughs> nikki for two minutes huh? they kind of didn't do a whole lot when it comes to the chips and everything because i don't want anything too complicated but i really would have preferred if they put more sauce into it anyways this is not a food don't don't it's just a mad bang this is how the bunny chow looks i'm hoping that you guys can see so the reason why it looks kind of like this is because um i bought it i think like an hour or two ago and guy bea i didn't eat it so now that i have time and i'm doing this mad bang thing I'm gonna be eating it and I warmed it up so that you know uh, can be a bit nice it's a bit messy but we'll make it move let me just get my pillow I need to be a little bit comfortable okay oh that's what I'm talking about okay guys so literally I just have my diary slash notebook with me this is where I wrote everything that I felt like you guys should know um, yeah so basically this topic is going to be about body shaming uh yeah i'm just gonna be telling you guys how i basically overcame body shaming or being body shamed so let's eat and let's get straight into the video once upon a time i was body shamed <laughs> Okay, I'm laughing now, but when it happened, obviously, it wasn't anything that I could say, like, was fun or I, I enjoyed it or anything like that. But yeah, once upon a time, I was body shamed. A lot of people do not know about this because I don't talk about it. I don't touch on it because I feel like it is still a very sensitive um, topic. Although I have moved past it, but I do feel like, you know, there's still a few patches that I need to fix in my life concerning that topic particularly so yeah so guys i was body shamed so my body shaming started back in primary right um yeah it was back in primary guys it was literally back in primary i think since i was in grade six if i'm not mistaken i will try put a picture somewhere here so that you guys can see how i looked back in my primary school days and also put in a picture when i was still like a baby baby so i was body shaped and it started back in in grade six right so i can say that i was how old was i was i 11 10 i think it was 10 but i literally had like i can say a body of like a 15 year old you know because i was fully figured i had your curves your hips although i didn't have boobs like big boobs but i had boobs and you know i was i can say i was a bit fat you know so yeah people would tell me how fat i looked like literally everyone would tell me you're so fat oh my god this that 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 one thing i want to point out guys is that when someone is fat or when they're skinny or whatever the situation might be you don't have to tell them chances of them knowing that they're fat or they're skinny are a hundred percent i know i knew i was fat you know i didn't need anyone to tell me Hore, you're so fat i i really didn't need that i knew Hore, i'm fat you don't have to tell me okay so what i want to point out to you guys as well is that if you see that someone is fat and you feel like they should lose weight 
Like, don't tell them they're fat. Chances of them knowing that they are fat is 100%. And maybe they are working towards losing the weight. But because we're now and your selfishness, you're just like talking, but but as a too much, you know? You go to the person and you tell them, you look so fat. Words hurt, guys. Words really do hurt. And I'm not joking. When I say words hurt, I've experienced this. I know what I'm talking about. So you can't just go to people and say whatever you feel like saying it because you have the freedom of speech. Mm -mm. It doesn't work like that. Mm. So point number two, guys. Okay. So also, um, moving on to high school, right? I was still body shamed. Um, it, people call me fat. Um, people call me big mama. People laughed at me. You know, what's more sad, guys, I can say is that when your own family as well kind of discourages you and doesn't motivate you, that's the hard part. I also had family members who would always, all the time, tell me how fat I looked. That's what I'm saying, Wuti. I knew I was fat. You didn't have to tell me. You telling me I'm fat is you implying or saying something else. Like It's like you telling me, you're fat, you need to lose, lose weight, you know? So, I had family members who literally would tell me how fat I looked. Like, Habo, I was like, Jebanga, you're so fat, but don't, 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 don't. And also, I even had, at school, in high school, close friends that would always constantly tell me, Hore, Ngijebile, Ugut Ngijebile means that you're fat. So they would constantly always tell me that, Ngijebile, which I truly didn't understand why, because I felt like I knew, you know, you didn't have to tell me. So I was body shamed. I went through that phase since primary school up until high school. Uh, I was told, Hori, you know, you need to lose weight. Long story short, that led to me deciding to start playing hockey. So I, I won't say I lost weight when I started playing sports. I really didn't because back in primary school, I didn't play sports. My primary school was a private primary school, but we didn't have sports. That was so weird, right? Um, so, hmm, got the eight in a little chakalaka. This has chakalaka in it. Love to see it. Mm, mm, mm. So, guys, um, if you hear any noise in the background please please i do apologize both my baby sisters are at home so it is quite a mess there is no peace control literally okay so as as i was saying um yeah my my years were very difficult my teenage years i can say were very difficult because i feel like i can say i lived all those years looking fat literally you know and it was just so difficult to move and also having your family members also to keep constantly reminding you and mind you these are people that you would see each and every single time when there's like um me or anything like that go high you know so it was bad it was bad also i had to go to school every single day so you can imagine all those people that bullied me that called me fat i would see them each and every single day of my life and they would still do the same thing call me fat bully me and everything um so yeah even my father guys my father called, called me Ungadlangadla. i don't know if i should say that came from a good place because it's my dad or <clears throat> sorry or it came from a bad place but nonetheless i didn't like it but obviously i couldn't tell him because you know he's my dad and whatever so as time went as i went to high school and everything i realized with him it's time i found how i can work with this because it is starting to affect me as a person is starting to affect my personality mm. It was starting to affect my personality. And it's just like, it's just, it just was bad, guys. 
I couldn't even freely wear what I wanted because I was so insecure about what people would say and everything like that, you know? So, that, that really broke me. Period. So, these are things, I'm about to tell you the, um, I think they're five. Five things that I was able to live by, you know? That obviously did help me to like overcome body shaming because I feel like if it wasn't for these things and also for myself, just telling myself, would see, I'm going to use these things to like ignore whatever people are saying, then I would still be stuck with the same problem, boo. Period. So, guys, number one, the rule that I lived by was that. I need to compliment myself and by compliment to yourself i mean that you really need to like be your own hype man be your own hype woman you know um own the outfit that you're wearing if you're wearing a mini dress and you bought it because you liked it own it you know look yourself in the mirror and tell yourself god damn i look hot as hell period ain't nobody gonna tell me none you know own your self own your confidence be confident in yourself and compliment yourself that's what i mean by saying you need to compliment yourself you need to you know how people who are dating compliment each other like oh baby you look so nice but uh, compliment yourself like you're dating yourself if that even makes sense that's the rule i lived by even now my boyfriend every single time he knows you know he knows that if I look myself in the mirror, chances are I'm going to be like, damn girl, you be looking hot or whatever, you know. But obviously I have lost some weights from how I was back in primary school, back in high school. But I'm just saying, you know, you need to compliment yourself so that, you know, you deal with things easier. That's all I'm saying. And then number two would be focus on the good things either rather than the bad ones focus on the good things rather than the bad ones i feel like that has also helped me to just kind of realize that there's more good things than the bad ones you know if you focus on the good things as time progresses or as time goes you get to realize that actually there's more good things than the bad ones that's how it is you know Russian, but um, guys, I'm about to hold the Spanish how like in the ghetto, the ghetto, the ghetto, the ghetto, the ghetto. Hmm, Simnanti. Okay, and that's Bansin. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think I think keep it Russian. I like eating Russian separate from the main um, thing. Mm -hmm. Point number three, guys, would be that you need to stay away from people who make you feel insecure. Cheers to that, honey. I won't lie. Even if the people who made me feel insecure were mostly my family members, I chose to stay away from them. And by saying stay away from people who make you feel insecure, I'm not saying cut them off completely. That's not what I'm saying. Personally, what I did was I chose to distance myself from those kind of people. So most of the time when there would be umtrimbi or anything like that happening or a ceremony happening, I wouldn't necessarily be a part of it most of the time. I wouldn't go because I was just trying to protect myself, protect my feelings and everything like that. So, um, yeah, that's what I mean by stay away from people who make you feel insecure. Even with certain friends that I had in high school, I had to cut them off because they weren't being very motivating. They didn't add any kind of good value to 
my journey or anything like that or they still made me feel insecure they still called me names they still body shamed me even if they knew even when they knew that i do not like being body shamed i do not like being called fat excuse me sorry i do not like being called fat i do not like being told i'm fat you know so i decided you know what i need to distance myself period period and I did just that. Even with my family members, I told Ms. Hafuti, I'm not going to be always present as much as I used to. Number four, stop comparing yourself to other people. Wow. You really need to stop comparing yourself to... I, I knew I had to stop comparing myself to other people. I remember I had a friend in primary school. Her body was gold. Oh. Her body was gold. And I was like, why can't I get to that point? Why can't I be like her? Why is she more like this? Why am I like that? You know? But I had to understand with him. I need to be my own boss. I need to own my body. You know? Also, another thing is that people will set a trend of weight, slim waist, whatnot. Mm -mm. Sweetie don't conform to the standard be the standard okay i don't know if i'm making sense like if somebody comes and is like waist slim ta -da -da -da, small waist what not is about you need to stop conforming to standards and start creating your own standard it's just as simple as that i literally i just feel like if you want to lose weight like me I also did take it upon myself that you know what I need to start losing weight and one mistake I did do was that I wanted to lose weight for all the wrong reasons I wanted to lose weight because that's why I joined hockey remember I wanted to lose weight because people call me fat so I joined hockey and everything and that to be quite honest in that moment I didn't lose weight because my mindset was completely different like my mindset was not said right if i make sense you know and i didn't lose weight but as i started understanding that i need to lose weight because i personally do want to lose weight i personally want to look a bit more slimmer i started losing weight you know people who know me from high school or primary school or whatever would tell you my body right now is way different from how it was back then and also the very same people who used to body shame me now call me thick now be telling me i look sexy bye <laughs> like bye i'm not here for it no 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 i'm not having it with you mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. I'm not having it with you. Yeah. If you want to lose weight, please lose weight for yourself. Do it because you are doing it for yourself. That's a period. And then, number five would be that you need to take care of yourself. Woo! If you know me, you know there's nothing I love more than taking care of myself. I love taking care of myself, literally. So you need to take care of, the, of yourself. And by taking care of yourself, I mean that even if you don't have the money to do it, but don't get sick guys. Even if you, you're in primary school, even if you're in high school, there are times where you can attend rand each and every Friday. Whatever two rand you get, or whatever one rand you get, treat yourself by that money and treating yourself doesn't necessarily have to be money you can just get home decide that i'm gonna paint my nails i'm gonna put some nail polish on my nails i'm gonna get into a warm bubble bath what not what situation you know do that do what makes you happy literally for me i found comfort in excuse me makeup to be quite honest that's where i found my comfort that's what made me happy every single time i was having a bad day and it's still what is making me happy every single time i'm having a bad day so i applied all my anger all, all my frustrations 
all my confusions in that you know that's how i treated myself you know and also i'm a very if you know me you know i love fancy things like <laughs> i love fancy things guys i love good things you know so and it started at a very young age so i treat myself i go to tash's have a meal i watch movies go cinema you know i do fun things fun things that make me happy i decide to wake up in the morning and create a makeup look i treat myself that is the key do absolutely anything and everything that makes you feel happy you know just as long as you're happy we'll all be happy with you mm. that's what i'm saying so yeah guys i think that's right about all the things that i wrote there were five so that's how i overcame body shaming it was hell but i'm glad i found these five factors that i can live by and implement in my life each and every single day so if you know that you've been body shaming people just know that it's not the right thing to do it's really hurtful it hurts people's feelings even if they won't say it because i feel like most of them prefer not to say it like i did i would not say anything if someone was to body shame me but guys just know it's hurtful it's it's devastating it literally breaks down one's self-esteem it literally does do that so if you were one of the people who would body shame someone please don't do it anymore it's not nice it's not pretty especially if you're gonna say it right in front of their faces if you want to say it if you feel the urge to say it say rather say it behind closed doors i don't care just don't say it in their faces it's not right it's not cool it's not pretty you're not doing anything nice by telling them they look fat you're not doing anything nice by telling them they look skinny you're not doing anything nice by telling them oh my god you should have curves what the hell you know so yeah guys uh that's basically how i overcame body shaming and i also you know once you start accepting yourself the whole world will accept you that's it i started accepting myself and the world started accepting me and when i met the boyfriend that i'm currently dating now um i wasn't fully recovered i won't lie but thank god for people who understand you know thank god for people who understand thank god for people who want to support you and want to see you do better thank god for people who want to see you look better thank god for people who want to excuse me see you have so much confidence in yourself and also thank god for god thank jesus for god thank god for jesus thank god for the bible you know that also really did keep me going and yeah so guys we've come to the end if you are new here and you really enjoyed this <laughs> please do subscribe and for the returning subscribers who watched this till the very end thank you guys so so much right now i'm just gonna finish up this bunny top because if it really i'm just gonna show it do you want guys watch do you guys want to watch me tell it no exactly so I'm gonna tell it keep right there and everything and yeah thank you guys so much for watching and also guys thank you so much for 500 subscribers some people will look at me and think what the hell you're thanking us for 500 subscribers but really really that is a big deal to me that is so big that is amazing so now we on road to 1k subscribers let us get to 1k subscribers okay don't forget to follow me on my instagram i'll put the um, instagram guys the electricity just went the electricity okay guys don't forget <laughs> 
don't forget to follow me on my social media platforms and also if you ever need anyone to talk to please do go to my description box uh check my social media platforms and literally do text me back okay i love you guys